Mamma mia, we got a no guest. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> the human needles I got from Publix are way better than the <laughs> <my soul needles. laughs> You're listening to. You're listening to. You're listening to. Y'all are listening to. What's left of the South? You were fucking waiting for that. You were like sad, Mark, and then you were like, boom, <laughs> fucking dead center with that joke. Fucking. How do you funny. think it is working with me? I think no, I right think there. it's I think it's kind of almost the same. Oh yeah, I think it's kind of the same as a podcast. It's not as completely unhinged because it's a professional setting but i feel that because i think your t- your timing is impeccable so i feel like right when a joke needs to be said you say it and you make everybody laugh and you hold off a workplace shooting for another day not necessarily you're gonna do had it a but bomb like, threat and they uh, didn't tell us so. <laughs> nelson wasn't paying attention to the group chat while that was happening <laughs> I was like, wow, why is there a security guard when there's never a security guard? It was a bomb threat. <laughs> that security guard would have done a shit ton if it was He's a old. bomb. He's so old. <laughs> <laughs> His pacemaker would go off before the bomb did. The pa- what did the pacemaker <laughs> set off ticking? the bomb? Oh, it's just my pacemaker. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's yeah. like the next, like, as all these actors get older, that's going to be the plot of some like next thriller or like Al Pacino and fucking Denzel Washington or some shit. It's going to be like his pacemaker will set off the bomb. And Al Pacino's like, oh, it's like screaming, my pacemaker. <laughs> like, Mr. Speaker wants to go see Oppenheimer. I'm not that interested in it. So, but he wants to go see it on um, an IMAX screen. And there's yeah. one at a shopping center like a half hour away from us. So he's talking about like taking a half day off work so that he can go see it when there's. The, the, there's fewer people there and i said oh well you can take me and i'll go around the shopping center while you watch this movie but like he said well don't you want to go see like the new indiana jones movie because indiana jones is my favorite when wow, i was especially when i was a kid and i was, I was telling him like no like i don't even i don't even consider um crystal skull part of indiana jones like oh, for me ugh. for me indiana jones ends at number three but mostly like like, I'm just not interested in seeing the movie, but also, like, I feel like, let Harrison Ford fucking rest. Let him this die. This man is ancient. <laughs> he is so fucking old. And you're making him do action movies. I just feel like this is going to, like, really change my my feelings on Indiana Jones as a whole say, if I go see this. I, no, I agree with you 100%, Kai. Green Crystal Skull was garbage. Um, But the best part of the Crystal Skull movie, what made it 100% worth it, was when Shia LaBeouf goes to pick up Indiana Jones's hat and he just <laughs> and he just snatches that shit from him. It's like, nah, dude. <laughs> I was like, thank <laughs> God. I love Harrison because Harrison Ford, someone was like, what if uh Chris Pratt picked up uh as Indiana Not Jones? Chris Pratt. And he Not was just, Chris Pratt. <laughs> oh yeah, Chris Pratt. He's like, what if someone asked him about Chris Pratt being Indiana Jones? He was like, no. Indiana Jones dies with me. He's like over my dead body. Well, I let it. I was like, thank God, because no one else can play. No one else should play Indiana Jones. I did find out. I did find out that one of my other favorite actors, Tom Selleck, was supposed to be Indiana Jones, mm. and he had the part. But then he started doing Magnum PI, which was one of my favorite shows, and uh, the studio wouldn't let him do both, so he went with Magnum PI, and then Harrison Ford got to be Indiana Jones. But I think Tom I think Selleck that, would have been a great. He would have been a good Jones. one. I think he would yeah. have been pretty good. Yeah, they would have somehow had to have Higgins in there too. I love Higgins. <laughs> Higgins is the best. There's, there's no shortage of of British actors in Indiana Jones. We could have fit him in. <laughs> <laughs> if it was, a, I remember being sick and like staying at home and watching and TV and like the only thing on was like old reruns of shit. It was like was it Matlock, Magnum PI, In the Heat of the Night. And then I was just like, did you have Magnum- Perry Mason on there as well? <laughs> I don't know if I had Perry Mason. I remember, I remember Matlock in the heat of the night and uh, Magnum PI. And I loved Mag- Magnum PI was the best out of all of them. And it's like when uh, he started doing blue bloods, I was like, they need to do a fucking crossover episode. And I, but like integrate somehow like Higgins and TC and Rick into that, into an episode of blue bloods, but Higgins died. Before they could get, my, they could make my idea possible. 
I know that they saw my post that I posted. Mm-hmm. I, I tweeted. I was like, this needs to happen. And they're like, this guy's fucking genius. Like, He's a genius. And then Higgins died. <laughs> Higgins. <laughs> Mark, what, what old TV shows do you remember? That I actually watched. Uh, none. My mine when I was sick was like freaking uh, Doctor Phil and Judge Judy and Dateline. <laughs> That's my God. That I shouldn't. <laughs> well, my my mom like whenever there was like um, those flashes where she like hung out, I guess, hanging out with my mom. Um, that's what she likes is like tr- weird true crime stuff. And no, then I, everything else is just way too much SpongeBob for the human brain. And that's <laughs> what's wrong with me. No, there's, there's so much more wrong with you than just SpongeBob. <laughs> I'm be honest, bro. It's so much more. I don't know. I'm scared of the new SpongeBob. Like I've seen like bits and pieces of it on TikTok. What's new Scary. SpongeBob? I thought they stopped it. I thought it No, it's like really nicely like polished, but it's like really like Almost like a Meat Canyon video. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. It's okay. The cool people listen to this one now. Yeah, whatever. The people that are with it. Tell us about your shirt. Shut up, Mark. Tell- <laughs> Fuck you, Mark. <laughs> now you, now I, oh, here we go. Back on the T and fucking getting all sassy. <laughs> you get your real needles now instead of your pig needles. <laughs> no, they just gave me two for like four doses so i only got to taste so you gotta it. go back to your pig needles i guess <laughs> oh, like, oh, no, this doesn't hurt so as much <laughs> and you're gonna end up being one of those people like oh i don't want to go back to the pig needles i'm gonna have to start soaking them in alcohol overnight before you use them <laughs> yeah. again well, well, flame. Just got a lighter <laughs> fucking sterilizer <laughs> no because it's not gonna be as sharp true we know that mark just bad so tell us about your shirt okay the shirt that no one can see? Yeah. Describe it to us. It's a shirt <laughs> that my friend bleached and then put my logo on it. We should sell some. Mark's should... an artist. Everybody yeah. should know this. Mark is an artist. Yes, In Mark quotes. is an artist. An artiste. <laughs> and I'll have you know that Mr. Speaker and I are going to be repping. Nelson, are you going to get one? Oh, hell yeah. I want one. Okay. I demand one. Already paid her for them, so if you don't want it, then I'll give it. No, to I want it. <laughs> no, I want a sweet. I, I want a sweet mock shirt. Just a sweet man. That's why I really wish you could like make just like silly merch, and like the, one of them just has Mark's face on it, and just says "Sweet Mark." Well, you can, and also with her sublimation machine, she made a bootleg Jesse Pinkman shirt. Oh. She talked about it today, and then. I'll give it to you so you can put a picture of it on Instagram. <laughs> she made it. You can't see it. She made no. it today. <laughs> okay. Wow. That's all right. That's, that's okay. That's cool. It's just pictures of Aaron Paul. <laughs> 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 no, the sweet Mark shirt has got to be the picture you sent from your, your driver's license. <laughs> it's that. Oh, mug shot? Said, yeah, your mug shot. <laughs> it just says sweet Mark. And then it will make one for me. And it's just the Italian hand emoji. <laughs> it says just says Nelson and Kai will be That's everything lame. everything on on your Zoom thing right now, Kai. <laughs> you can get fucked, no, Nelson. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's a picture of you and the horse. Remember the the one that you the, the horse is, you're like ah, and the horse is like trying to like every okay. We all know that that Kai can talk the horses. So like <laughs> the horse is like hello, what's up? What's going on here? <laughs> I forgot what it was. It like was trying to eat your hair. It looked like that. You said in the group chat. That's gonna be Kai's picture. Cool. <laughs> and and yours says, is an emoji. How just... millennial of you? <laughs> okay, it gets me a slice of pizza. No, no, no. Okay, I'm gonna bring this. Up, but <laughs> oh, somebody who used to be on this show, and I'm not gonna say anything else, mm-hmm. said that we should do merch. Of us having like our bitmojis. Oh as... god! It was the worst. Idea. Ew, cringe! It was so it was fucking so bad. bitmojis. <laughs> like, like I, like at that point, I didn't know that I disliked them. <laughs> so, like, I was like, hey, I'm pretty sure that would be illegal. Like, yeah. like that's that's we just be like taking god. art from from a multi billion dollar corporation. I like, know, are right? you kidding? <laughs> Jesus. 
uh, we were already pushing it with that that sticker that had Dale Earnhardt on it for a while. <laughs> you only imagine if we like did took on what was it Meta? Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Oh so for the listeners, in case you haven't noticed, our guests had to cancel at the last minute and we're trying to get episodes out. So it's going to be another no guest, no problem. Part two. No guest. Electric with- Boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> Featuring another article from January Nelson. That's month <laughs> me. <laughs> January 6th, Nelson. <laughs> I I literally like this person is single handedly keeping this podcast afloat Hell because when yeah. we when we lose a guest that that short notice I'm like shit I gotta go find something for us to talk about and I find these articles that they write and they're all like 120 questions to ask on a Tinder date and like 120 <laughs> questions to ask boys and like ask yeah. girls or like kicking so- our feet behind us boys. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> oh my god so yeah i know what boys want i know what guys (laughs) cool that you just gave up on that halfway through (laughs) you and mark's face i'm just waiting for you to finish man <laughs> Mark is all sassy from having to do so much fucking schoolwork and having to fight on his offered, computer to I get offered, out of here. I offered. I was like, <laughs> look, Mark, if you really want to, you can do schoolwork. No, after doing it for 20 minutes, we're not doing all that. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, we're gonna start taking donations to get Mark a better computer so it doesn't take 17 <laughs> minutes for him I've- to get on Zoom. <laughs> I've had it almost 10 years. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit, Mark. Old. And yeah. it rattles around from where TSA kind of just threw it around in my luggage. <laughs> so. I'll give you my old tablet. You can just have it. You said that before. You I said know, that like I a have. year I just ago. Forgot. Okay, well, I gotta come get it. I gotta get my staff and then I'll bring the tablet. <laughs> It's gonna be a hostage exchange now. <laughs> no, no, no. This and is if you want to talk training. about this, it's the fact that Mark still has my fucking chicken from Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> we have so much stuff to give each other next time we see each other. I have a, a custom swap. staff, tablet, chicken. That's the worst thing about, about like that love language of like, oh yeah, my friend will like this. Oh wait, my friend lives across an ocean. <laughs> I know that. So Mark has my chicken. I have a present that I bought Mark at a convention and a microphone that I said I was going to give you. (laughs) But unfortunately, at that point, like October fucking imploded. No, what was that? March. March imploded. Or was it April? Uh, (sighs) So uh, (laughs) y'all got your questions ready? (laughs) This is this epic bartering system. It's yeah. like tablets, <laughs> the chicken microphone, <laughs> the Powerpuff Girl. <laughs> I'm so, gladly this, trade a microphone for a chicken any day. Okay. <laughs> what fucking what Fallout is this? What Fallout game is this? It's like a leftist agriculture Fallout. podcast that has like three episodes. <laughs> Fallout new podcast. <laughs> <laughs> in my microphone for a chicken <laughs> now i can't record my episodes <laughs> it's for the best it's okay i have this new tablet it's because all of those those leftist agriculture people were from new york and thought that living in a commune was a good idea and it turned out to be a fucking and it, and it turned out to be a cult <laughs> they just abused each other we're gonna go live on top of a mountain with these people that we just met online. Yeah, no background <laughs> checks. Oh no, one of them skinned a cat. I guess that's normal. Do you see I do in a survival situation? <laughs> Steve has a swastika on him, but he says it's just a Buddhist symbol. <laughs> Why are there no people of color here? Why does everyone smell bad? What's the worst what? thing about peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? That's my first question. Why are there so sorry, many I'm white sorry, people? Mark, they are dress? unsustainable. Okay, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches unsustainable. Why are there so Go many on. white people with dreads here? <laughs> Wait, what? What about peanut butter and jelly sandwiches be unsustainable? It's yeah, all elaborate. these communes. 
the these communes oh. are supposed to be like self-sustaining do you think that they're going to be uh. growing grapes growing peanuts having the equipment to do all of this <laughs> yeah, and, then, and then making grape jelly that will not give all of them botulism and, and making True. bread on top plenty of, of this yeast. plenty of yeast in that plenty. commune <laughs> no, but- <laughs> they just have to scrape it off they have to scrape it off Tony Ooh. over there no <laughs> gross <laughs> Jesus I got him I got him <laughs> God damn it, Kai. <laughs> this is from the Tony. You Hatch. both, you both just disgusted me so badly. Mark is like, plenty of yeast. Plenty of yeast. I wonder why. Because nobody's taking a shower at the goddamn Jim Jones part two commune boogaloo. Thank you for explaining the joke to the folks at home. Fuck you, Mark. You little shit. <laughs> I'm really glad that we didn't choose anybody chose the question. Like, when was the last time you cried laughing? Because it'd be right now. <laughs> that was, that's the question on this list. Is about yeah, the what's, what's yes. the worst thing about what's the worst thing about a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? And we're putting it in the commune now. So everything, <laughs> everything for the rest of the podcast, all these questions should be tailored to where we got no, stuck. No, fuck you. We're not playing this game. <laughs> We're yeah. already a bunch of catty bitches talking about all these other leftists who want to go start a commune and find, find out how bad they are in it. Fucking losers. If I have to eat another tomato or another cucumber, I will lose my mind. We're getting attacked. We're, we're, we're getting reacquainted to the land. The land's telling you to go home. Go back the to The land's Europe. telling you that's not suitable for these types of crops. <laughs> 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 the land is telling you it's just rocks. Why can't I? O- <laughs> Why can't I open my jaw? <laughs> oh no! Someone's got whooping cough. <laughs> oh my god! Ow! <laughs> no, this and Terry's what's gonna get. Oh him. my god! Could you imagine? It already that that commune, commune probably already smells bad. It's all just. Dilap- First off, one, they're always like buying a dilapidated farmhouse and like some land that's just been completely fucking just nutrients just sucked out of it from just years of bad farming practices. And they're just like, it's cheap. It's land. Anything can grow on land. Blah, 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 blah. And then they always like they build these like shanty fucking structures. Right. And then there's always a school bus. Why is there always a They're busted... cheap and easy to get a hold of? <laughs> That's so true, but there's always a busted fucking school bus, and it's just like, oh my god, it's like tiny home hell. It's just like van life, but not even like it's van life if their parents weren't millionaires funding their whole van life stuff. <laughs> van and... life, but it doesn't have any wheels. Oh, <laughs> cinder block life. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. <laughs> oh my god. This fucking uh I did try to segue into the list, Kai. Just so you know. I, I know. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fuck it. Oh my god, these commun I that is like the like there's a there's a bunch of like there's a whole there's a number of 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 left wing people I can't stand, but the worst are the white people that want to do communes they're the worst hands down i i i i I can't i can't with them just because like having done farming like you just in the the small bit that i have and just like the manual labor stuff and it's not fun none of it is amusing to me it isn't it is not we we've advanced as a civilization for a reason like i just we I, live it, in a society we live in a society for a <laughs> that reason. does not have crops or farming exactly <laughs> They have machines that do this now. <laughs> right. Machines. <laughs> machines. Oh God. Nelson. <clears throat> you don't know how I... like, you don't have a drive a tractor. Why do you want to start a commune? Because they're special. They're different. <laughs> they're gonna do it right this time. Martin, they've you read to... one pamphlet about doing the three sisters planting method and they're gonna yeah. do it fucking everywhere. <laughs> Mark, you got to be the spokesman. Sisters. You got to be oh, a spokesman God. for the for the commune because you have the like the the softest voice. You'll be like, "Hey, everyone, come <laughs> to the commune. It'll be fine. <laughs> you won't die." <laughs> sure. Yeah. 
<laughs> For me, it's the peanut butter. If there's too much peanut butter on the peanut butter and jelly, I don't like it. If it's crunchy peanut butter, I can't do it. Only Probably both y'all. If it, I I I I don't like crunchy peanut butter, and like it's got to be grape. Either. It's got to be grape jelly. I'm sorry, I can't do strawberry yeah. jelly and crunchy peanut. You you're a fucking psychopath if you're one of those people. Strawberry jelly is like way too jelly. sweet to me. Exactly. I mean, strawberry jelly on on toast with butter, it can be good. But yes, but. On a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, it's got to be. I don't care if it's wheat bread or white bread. I, I, I cross no, I don't care. But like, it's got to be. I can't. I don't like crunchy peanut butter. It's got to be creamy peanut butter, and it's got to be grape jelly. How thick are you going on the peanut butter? Hold on. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, two pieces of what kind of bread do you use? I, like I said, it doesn't matter if it's white or, or whole grain or what or okay, kind of bread. Then start with your perfect PB and J sandwich. Then, okay, I'm not gonna lie, I do for peanut butter and jelly. Like I will go granola mom and do the whole grain, but I like the Wonder Bread. If it's white bread, peanut butter and jelly, I I, I prefer that. I prefer that starch. It's gonna fuck up my stomach. Peanut butter, I like the peanut butter <clears throat> like I like my women thick so it's got to be a lot of peanut butter i love peanut butter peanut butter with two c's in a jar slightly crunchy oil rises to the top no, you like your women? oh my god oil guess, rises to the top jesus christ no god i i tried that all natural peanut butter shit with the oil on top you gotta yeah. mix it up like it tastes like shit um i want processed jiff i want fucking not the great value i want actual jiff and I want Smucker's fucking grape jelly and 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 Wonder Bread. White bread is 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 superior. Have you guys ever fried it before? Have you had fried PB? No, they're pretty good. No, that's um or toast and PB on much. toast is pretty good. If you're if you're doing all that, then you don't the, want a peanut butter and jelly. The gourmet peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> <laughs> What's some other stuff? I'll, the crustables. Have you had those? Those are pretty good. I like, oh I like yeah. Who if, hasn't if, had I, that? if I was if Shut if up, somebody Mark. was like, okay. <laughs> just have like the the worst meal you possibly could like something that you would enjoy but people would look at you and judge you no matter how like body positive or anything that they are they would look at you and judge you if you gave crime. me if they gave me an entire box of slightly chilled grape jelly uncrustables wipe it out Go oh done done that's what we're doing we're getting like we're getting a box like we're getting a fucking <laughs> You know, just gonna sit there like with wrappers around us. <laughs> yeah, and it's, uh, it's, I know, I know, I know. You're not supposed to put them in the microwave. Like a small family of bears. <laughs> we are a small family of bears. Fair enough. I know you're not supposed to put them in the microwave. We put them in the microwave just like ten seconds, not so they bust open and they're burning your mouth. But you just put them in there just so they're slightly. What well, ew, warm. a hot, a hot no, peanut butter I, I like they're frozen. Chilled. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Oh, yeah. Good point. Good point. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good point. Good point. Good Be point. Patient. You're right. I can't. I'm not patient. <laughs> no. What say... you do is that if you're going on a road trip, you buy oh. the frozen box, stick them in the back, and then when you're two or three hours in, they're perfect. So my ex that used to smoke meth, right? She had a meth head. <laughs> she had a fucking <laughs> eccentric meth head roommate. <laughs> he was fucking hilarious. I'm not gonna lie. They would get in meth field fucking fights at like four o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? I'm in grad school and they're both high on meth, fucking fighting each other. But he would get he would get the fucking you ever the fucking uh pe the peanut butter and grape combination, the jar. No, goober. Not the goober. Goober Christ. <laughs> He come in like he come in like you got that goober grape. I got that goober grape. <laughs> he was hilarious. He would steal people's credit cards and identities and use them to pay different bills and shit and like Robin steal Hood. steal their fucking credit card info when he was a waiter and would fucking steal their shit when they, he would get their credit card info and he got like he got fired. It was fucking wild, dude. Um, he was fucking hilarious. <laughs> he, he was a total piece of shit human being, but he was fucking hilarious. And I never forget him just holding that jar. Like, I got that goober grape. <laughs> I'm against the government Strung keeping this people, meth. but that is the one thing that I cannot stand. I will what? not eat it. 
the goober. You don't the like goober. the goober grape? You don't like that goober no, grape? No, it should not be mixed up. What? And if someone takes the peanut butter and the jelly and mixes them up into like its own thing. Oh, that's weird. Nasty. That's gross. I could see I could see trying to say, I could see saving money and getting the goober grape, but I can't see like some psychopath mixing it up like a fucking in a chem like a as a fucking chemistry project and then doing it. That's just weird. It's got to be Oh, I got one. I got one. Do you put the peanut butter on one slice and then the jelly on another or do you do you yeah. combine them on one slice? What do you do? Separate pieces of bread. Yeah. Mark. And and another thing, like, oh. okay, so maybe Americans aren't as used to this because bread over there is a lot, like, the size of bread is, like, standardized. But over here, a lot of your bread, like, if you're not buying a regular, like, King's Mill loaf or something like that, it's not, like, the loaf isn't, like, a standardized size. So a lot of it will be, like, little, like, lopsided on one side or something. Um, and if I'm making a sandwich like that, then when I put it back together, it has to align perfectly. So I have to like make sure which uh, side I put it on. <laughs> true, because there have been some times where I put the slice, of, I put the bread, I put them together, and the fucking the it's straight like the corner the, sticks no, out the side, right? Yeah, that, no, the worst <laughs> is when you put it together and the the butt end, right? Then it looks like a butt is on the on the straight side, and it's it's flipped. It's like not. It's not mirrored. They're not fucking mirrored this, together. Uh, this is how. This is how like this is mass shooting start. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sensory thing. Mark, what right, you, Mark, Mark, what's the answer to your question? Do you, do you do it on all on one slice or do you separate slices? Separate, but I put like the yeah, most. I'm glad we're all in agreement. Like <laughs> the thinnest layer of peanut butter. Not like it's not there, but like enough to where it's like. Just so you can't see any of the bread the poking so, through. So you want a yeah. jelly sandwich? Is what you're talking? What you're saying? <laughs> yeah. You want a bread and jelly sandwich? You. That's how that's do y'all feel about like that's why you fucked fruit up. Jellies, or like. <laughs> Okay. That explains <laughs> Added to the list. <laughs> there's a everything. lot of there's a lot of like alternative fruit jelly. Like over here in the UK, like one grape jelly does not exist over here at all. Um you're if you're having a regular and it's not jelly, it's jam. If you're if like your standard jam is strawberry. Um and like there's like you go places and there's like a fucking wall and it's not like American style like wall of like jellies because you know there's smuckers and this brand and this brand and this brand and there's sugar free and all that but there's like five fruits actually over here there's like gooseberry raspberry um Nosberry. fucking like like everything that you can think of so I've tried a lot blueberry jelly blueberry jam is the shit if you ever okay. find it okay. try that try that as a peanut butter and jelly sandwich it is so fucking good it's like because you can't get grape over here blueberry jelly works just about as good wait why can't you get grape it doesn't exist over here there is no grape jelly here there is no spoon <laughs> Is this because of Brexit? Or is this just a thing? No, they're just, it's never come over how, here. So. How, do they, how do these people conquer a third of the fucking planet and don't have grape jelly? First, they so can't get their what? fucking bread sliced evenly and they fucking don't have grape jelly. For the love of fucking God, they still have, they still have colonies. So if you're looking at like, uh, when it comes to fruit over here, we have a flavor that's black currant it's like if you see something that's dark dark red or dark purple and it's candy or jam or something like that it's probably black currant and black currant to me tastes disgusting oh, it tastes like so medicine cool. it, it really does taste like medicine and i like as soon as i take a bite of something i can smell it in my head like it doesn't get out of my head however it's a very beloved flavor over here and it's one of those things that there's legitimately been studies about how it never translated to the american palate and americans hate it <laughs> so it's like, what's it there's called? that what's it called black current that just sounds horrible it is a current that is black black current that sounds like yes. a, a fucking villain in a dc comic <laughs> But okay, okay. Perfect, perfect PB and J sandwich for me has to have crunchy peanut butter. I know I'm the only one here who likes it, but I I do. And I remember very specifically when we went to the beach when I was a kid. I played in the beach, like played in the water too much, and got a whole bunch of salt water in me. And I was like, I went to my mom and I was crying that I had all this salt in me. Um, and she's like, <laughs> Do you want to go back into the hotel room and I'll make you a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? And I remember specifically saying, Yeah, make sure it has a lot of jelly to like counteract the effects Aww. of the salt but the palate like, was so refined as a kid <laughs> <laughs> but, 
<laughs> yeah, it's it's got to be my favorite is great. My favorite is crunchy peanut butter. I like a medium amount of peanut butter because I don't like it when it gets sticky in my mouth and you can't like chew That's around it. Yeah. And I definitely like if I'm going all out, it's going to be like the worst white bread you can find. Something oh that's God, basically yeah. foam. Yeah. <laughs> I want <laughs> that. <laughs> How does like wheat bread? Obviously, growing up, it was all wheat bread, but like a whole grain. I was just like, it just it didn't hit right. Like there's something about the Something about the the white bread PB and J's just hit differently. Mark, I'm really shocked that you don't like Gooba Grape. <laughs> I, 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 touch. I, I'm shocked. It shouldn't I'm, touch. I'm it, literally shocked. It like should I said, be its great. own separate thing until it's ready to be consumed. It just that kind of, that blew my mind more than anything else I've probably ever heard in this podcast. Because grape jelly doesn't exist over here, every once in a while you go to places that have like American food imports, and I found grape jelly through them. So I'll buy that every once in a while. But most of the time, what you'll find is jars of goober because nobody else wants to buy it. Brits don't know anything about no one else wants to buy it. The the Brits don't know anything about grape jelly. They don't want anything to do with something that looks that fucking weird because American food is weird. Um, So they don't (laughs) buy it. So because I can't get a hold of grape jelly any other way, sometimes I'll buy that. But it is not good. It's so hard to get an even distribution of how much like jelly to peanut butter. And like you refrigerate jelly after you open it. So you're going to end up refrigerating the peanut butter and then it just comes out chunky and hard and like awful. It's I mean, the worst. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I just by habit refrigerate peanut butter. I don't know why. So we, you, we, you want a rock. You want a peanut flavored no, rock. Is what you so, want. Because like, <laughs> because, well, I mean, we all. You're going to chip it out like you're a miner. <laughs> I load 16 tons. What are you getting? Another day older and deeper in debt. Getting the ore out of your peanut butter jar. <laughs> you can enjoy the fruits of your labor. No, it's because like we, okay, so we all, okay, so we all, uh, I know for a fact you had cockroaches in Florida. I got big ass cockroaches here. Mark, they got cockroaches in North Georgia. So like our fear was that like, because we would have cockroaches, especially because we lived in neighborhoods that have a lot of pine trees and the cockroaches love the trees. So like uh, we I, I I grew up with a mother who was afraid that like cockroaches were going to get in the cereal and anything that like whatever. So like our cereal would be in the fridge. Uh, you know, I, peanut, I think peanut butter wasn't because it had the screw on top. But like I think because I don't have enough space, cabinet space, I put my peanut butter in the refrigerator so i mean i don't really mind it but now growing up like cereal and uh stuff that would have been in pantries was also in the refrigerator too so just i don't mind no we must like there's palmetto bugs you could get roaches in florida i know people who have palmetto bugs you can't do nothing about they're going to be in your house no matter what especially if you're under trees or anything like that but palmetto bugs don't really go for your food um what we had to deal with was sugar ants oh my Um, god sugar ants everywhere everywhere jesus and like my mom learned about diatomaceous earth, which is this white powder that you put down that um, basically like shreds the ants as they walk on it. But yeah. it's so it's it's not harmful to like pets or humans or anything, and it's an easy way to get rid of them. But yeah. that means that our kitchen would be covered in white powder and white yeah. powder lines yeah. everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> we were Party doing so much coke house. or something. Yeah. <laughs> Even to this day, to this day, like we put um, like Dawn dish soap around the sink because like. My and parents don't like do that. dishes like every hour or something like the dishes are going to be in the sink every once in a while. So like you put dish soap around the sink basin so that the ants can't get in and get to the food leftovers or anything like it's bad. <laughs> God, fucking sugar ants. They literally and uh, here cockroaches like in Alabama is definitely cockroaches. I don't know, Mark, in North Georgia. I'm guessing you guys have cock- you have the flying ones, too. That pop sure. when you hit them. We got palmetto bugs. Mm. Which one's a palmetto bug? Which palmetto bug's like the size of your thumb, and It'll it's get you. It, it's big. Kai froze. <laughs> palmetto and bug. They powder. have like a brown and black head. They fly. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say palmetto bugs. They're like they're about the size of your thumb. They're like two yeah. inches long at the biggest. They fly. They have a brown and black head. They have a dark brown like wing, kind of, and like they're big enough that you can hear them walk on shit. Really? I don't think and, I don't I guess, like thump when they like fall hmm. off stuff. No, I just so we got cicadas that are loud as shit and we got cockroaches. We have the flying cockroaches that pop when you kill them. But the the I bring up the cockroach the shit is so funny because there's a 
there's a mutual of mine on on TikTok and Instagram. I don't know if she listens to the podcast, but uh, she was talking on her story. She's a Yankee, and she I guess moved to New Orleans for work or some shit. And uh, she was talking about like finding the cockroaches, and there's so many cockroaches. It's like, yeah, <laughs> you got to get a bug. Yeah, it's man. wet nurse plants. Yeah, it's wet. You're in the deep south, honey. You got to get a bug man. You got everybody knows a bug man. <laughs> get a bug man. Everybody knows a bug man. <laughs> everybody knows a bug man. <laughs> Our bug, our old bug man went to high school. My dad is like, we all know bug man. You got to get fucking get one. <laughs> the bug man. And if you're far enough south, you got an AC man too. But you can oh start with bug man. God. Yeah, you start with a bug man and then you get an AC. <laughs> well, yeah, you're going to see AC man at least once or twice a year because when you kick on the AC in the summertime, it's going to die at least once. <laughs> but the bug man, the bug man comes in like four times a year at least because that shit is it's if you don't, you get infested with cockroaches and big motherfuckers. Oh, oh, speaking of which, I told Kai, Mark, before you got on here, there was a wasp in my fucking bathroom today. I'm taking a shit and I hear like I have the I have the 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 slat blinds and mm-hmm. uh, I heard a, something like be, be, like on in between the blinds and the window. And I thought it was like sometimes a fly gets in there and like, all right, whatever. But I got done, obviously, and I washed my hands and I look under the slats and it's a fucking wasp. It's a big ass motherfucker, too. I'm like, ah, shit. So I fucking go out and I see that those bastards have a fucking uh, nest on the floodlights in front of my house. And so I, my mom had the fucking wasp spray. So I killed those some bitches and I came in the house and this this was had to be the biggest white Anglo-Saxon Protestant bastard I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> this is a big motherfucker. He was I, that wasp definitely called me a big nose guinea and told me to stop speaking my walk language and to, and to get out of his neighborhood or some shit. Like, this guy was this, this bad. Nelson smack Tad. <laughs> <laughs> Name him. Or it's going to, it's probably, maybe it'll be a her. Name her. Miffy. <laughs> Susan. <laughs> fucking. And so like, I was at the door and I fucking, I opened the slats a bit and I fucking sprayed the some bitch. And I'm, he was like, ah, uh, Protestant Jesus, whatever, and then fucking, uh, I know, like it, it dot, but then it disappeared. Like I, it, it literally, I looked, and I think what happened, Kai, I think what happened. This is a gap in between the two. You know how you slide you know, the window? There's a gap between the bottom window. Top. I think it might have fallen through in that gap somewhere and like just died in mm. there. But that that some bitch is dead. But like it was, I was just like, ah, oh, shit, because like I hate wasps. The all, the one and only time. I got stung by one. It stung my hand, and this the damn thing swelled up like a Mickey Mouse glove. And I'm just like, never again. This is horrible. One time that happened to me, and everyone raced inside to see who, who had cigarettes. Oh, the tobacco, they right? Opened yeah. it up and like spit in it, and I was like, I don't want this. And like, that's too bad. You don't just you chew on it. You don't spit it. Yeah. <laughs> Tell them that. Tell them that. Yeah, damn, 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 damn. <laughs> like, like I, I understand that. Like, it's kind of the same thing. Like, if you just put tobacco down and spit, like you're gonna get some of the same thing. But you chew on it to like release some of it and to make it into a poultice, so you're not just like spitting on somebody. It's still being masticated if you rub it. I guess there's mechanical action happening. I'm surprised nobody around had a dip in. Mark, someone should have had a dip in. No, this was at my um my aunt's house. And they didn't do anything but drink wine. Oh. So. Mm. Mm. I've never been mm. stung by anything. I don't know. I have wood to knock on. <laughs> I'll tell you <laughs> what. Anything. These freaking mosquitoes. Oh, um, my God. My ankles have, like, Morse code. Like, I could probably, like, feel them calling me something if I <laughs> sat here for a minute. So much mosquito venom in you. That it's just like it's in your brain now. <laughs> So what are they? Are they yeah. saying that DEET is now bad for us? Because like it used to remember when that West Nile virus was going around like, a couple, yeah. like when we were kids, and they're like you got to use spray with DEET in it. And now everyone's like, don't use DEET. I was like, motherfucker, they used to cover us as kids with fucking DEET because like DEET fucking off because the deep woods was like the only one that like <laughs> get West Nile virus. The zinc the the zinc virus is like ah oh, shit. Now nah, we're just fucked. Nothing's good for you. If it kills something else, it's probably not good for you. Yeah, well, I went outside today and my squashes are currently being eaten by something. So I got my bug spray out. And of course, right then the wind picked up. So it sprayed 
onto me while I was spraying down my plants <laughs> for bugs. I know. So- in the UK, it's obviously they're still using like DDT or some shit. <laughs> one of those, one of those old timey spray things. You know, the pump. cylinder, the pump cylinder thing is spraying DDT. Yeah, I'll, I'll go out with my fucking plague mask next time and <laughs> yeah, spray exactly. my plants down. Exactly. <laughs> Holy shit. Right. Nelson, hit us with a question. Hold on, I just had it and it fucking I had the perfect question lined up and I lost it. Hold on, it's about animals. Great. Can't wait. He just wants to laugh at us again. I do. Um <laughs> oh my God, all right, where is it? Hold on. God damn it. I saw a muskrat alive on the side of the road. Oh really? Wow. Yeah. He was just standing there. <laughs> waiting for a ride i guess so (laughs) okay besides mark if animals could talk which animal would be the rudest you're calling mark an animal and a rude animal on top of that (laughs) wow (laughs) wow (laughs) heard it here first folks (laughs) write that down in your notes your notes app (laughs) wait for the ukulele video to come out (laughs) No! Oh my god! That was so cringe. <laughs> it's like I'm so glad that like I don't know. It's just like the people who build their entire personalities and build their entire like self this being an online person is just weird. It's just uh-huh. to get that Go on. shut up. <laughs> <laughs> to get that level where like you don't have to work, you only can just make content and make money off that. You're either like and you either do you're really good at it, you become like Mr. Beast and like a multimillionaire, or like you just I don't know. Cause at like some level of fame, the weird thing about social media is it brings normal people to like the level of fame that we'd only really seen, like from like, you know, musicians and act and, and Hollywood actors, stars and shit. All those people have fucking agents and and PR people and coaches and media training and know how to deal with all this stuff. And then you just have like some random person. That just like makes a few videos, like blows up, and then has like almost a million followers, and they're just an average person, and they fuck up, and, and their, lives have, over. They, their lives are over, and they don't have anyone to fucking coach them. Be like, hey, you probably shouldn't do an apology video while playing a song on a ukulele. The problem is, is that she claimed in that video, we're talking about Colleen Ballinger, by the way. Yeah, yeah. If y'all don't know, Colleen Ballinger said that her team told her not to say anything. Yeah. And she says oh, in the song, no. she says in the song, they said I shouldn't say anything, but they never said I couldn't sing about it. <laughs> what? Like I, would she's quit. A I would resign. Disney star. <laughs> I would resign. I'd be like, what does she do I anyway? How is she a famous? musical? What does she do? To, what is she? She's like Fred. You know oh, Fred? yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that guy. And um, what's the other one? Gabby Hanna, that kind of thing. So just being quirky on YouTube. Yeah, and she she made a character called Miranda Sings. So Colleen Ballinger apparently can like actually sing, and from getting YouTube fame, she's had doors open to her where she's like acted in legit musicals and things like that. Like she's she's made a name of herself besides Miranda Sings. But Miranda Sings was the thing that she got very famous for on YouTube, and Miranda Sings was basically her. Um, it was <laughs> she made the character based on seeing what she decided were like delusional um i'm the main character girls going in for auditions or going in for like going to college for music and things like that who like couldn't sing very well but they thought they were really good at it so the character was one of those people who thought she was really good at singing or being a a stage presence and wasn't it was all a bit like mean-spirited to begin with um so yeah (laughs) that's That's how we got here what she deserved so yeah. Yeah. Next. I'm not a groomer. Ring. I'm just a loser. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the only you thing I've groomed is my two that. Persian cats. Yeah, Fuck Jesus off. Christ. <laughs> God. Between her okay. and between her and Jonah Hill's bullshit. And I was like, gee, good lord. <sighs> what a fucking loser. So back to the animals. Who would be the rudest animal? Jonah, Jonah Hill's the worst and is the rudest animal. <laughs> I'm thinking like, so I have a distrust of like, um, what I consider like mean monkeys, like baboons and things like that. Like they scare me. 
large, large <laughs> monkeys scare me. High um, locks are doors. Know. Do you think she you can reason with them with like a talk though? I don't know. Because so like it seems like their emotional cues are something that like we have lots of documentation on and yet they can still flip out and rip your fate off, face off literally um so I, like, they, I saw planet of the apes and said fuck those guys kind of yeah i i <laughs> saw um the planet of the apes that came out when i was a like young teenager i think so it'd have been somewhere oh, around the, like 2000 that, 2005 somewhere in that time Mark Wahlberg? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah i remember seeing that and, and that frightening me <laughs> but the like, new I, ones the trilogy rock the, sh- the trilogy was actually really good but i don't know if i don't know if like a large monkey would be rude as much as like terrifying to me maybe dolphins dolphins are pretty rude oh, as creatures dolphins are fucking yeah. pe- dolphins and okay i know we all love orcas you know what mark <laughs> i'm gonna let you go first because i'm gonna rant about dolphins and orcas well do we want like wild animals or like, like crusty white dogs Ooh, okay. <laughs> little um, Karen white dogs. Yeah. Every Bichon Frise yeah. is just they, the worst. Yeah. They have uh, black no. eyes, lifeless eyes, like a doll's eyes. <laughs> um, but if we're talking about wild animals, I'd think deer. Really? really? Yeah, I feel like they got like a mean <laughs> girl kind of spirit around them. I thought they'd be stupid, but they would just be like dumb. Oh, well, yeah, but they're also like, I don't know. I feel like they'd have like a jock personality. Maybe really, yeah, fascinating. Go ahead, say it, Nelson. Fascinating, fascinating. <laughs> you're writing this down. <laughs> Mark, Mark always goes, Interesting. <laughs> I'm also a little scared of them, yeah, because you collect like... their skulls. They probably have, you, <laughs> they know, they're, they're probably like, They are I mean, a poster of you. Like, this that. motherfucker, this motherfucker <laughs> took my grandfather. I didn't take skin, nothing, skinned him alive. No, I didn't. mounted his head. I would never do such a thing. How dare you say Isn't there a deer head like mounted in your room? Isn't there like a deer mounted in your room? No. There's not. <laughs> that that's behind me is a bull. That's a bull. I'm pretty sure there's a is it I thought there was a deer head somewhere in your house. No. It sounds like I mean sketchy, but no. <laughs> okay, we have a deer skull. You have some part. <laughs> couple. Yeah, exactly. They know. Okay. Nelson, Nelson, give your answer, but instead of giving Mark the third degree. <laughs> right. Okay, so obviously something I picked up off the ground. <laughs> they were gonna bury him, but you took the body away. <laughs> they don't All have right. burial rights, not smart enough. <laughs> Damn, Mark. Oh, <laughs> uh, obviously orcas and dolphins are already dicks. Like we all know like what dolphins do to other dolphins. Um, dolphins, what do they say? Dolphins are the white men of the ocean. <laughs> orcas, yeah. though, everyone knows that like orca, everyone's like, oh, orcas destroying the yachts. That's great. Orcas are also fucking psychopaths. Okay. They, I've mentioned this before, and I'm sure that Mark and Kai have the National Geographic rebuttals and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but right, so I'm keeping it to myself. Right, fuck off. Okay. They, they fuck it. They, they're You're like personifying an animal. I'm not going to be like, We're actually, literally, that's the fucking question. I know. That's what I said. You're not listening to me. <laughs> Nelson, try again. Take a deep breath. Try again. His face is turning purple. Gather you, your words. I hate you, Mark. <laughs> You're a broody little fuck. Um, <laughs> I love you. But fucking, um, so if we're going to personify animals based on how they act not personified orcas i think would be fucking psychopaths because of how they like humans hunt for sport and like toy with their fucking prey like the fact that they're like launch a seal like 50 feet in the air and then just catch it in their mouth and just be like then they'll like fucking get it up on a fucking sheet of ice and this seal you can tell is crying because it doesn't want to die and they'll just fucking start toying with it and hitting the ice and getting it to try to fall off just so they could throw it 50 feet in the air and rip it to shreds. The worst was the stingray. <laughs> they just swatted that motherfucker, killed it, and just kept toying with its body. I think one of the saddest TikToks I saw was this seal, <laughs> this sweet, innocent seal, hopped up on this guy's boat, and the look on the seal's face was, please save me. I don't want to die. What if you want to kick it back in the water? <laughs> 
you're horrible. <laughs> and I'm the bad person. The seal was literally petrified and was like, you could tell it was like trying to communicate with the guy, like drive, drive, get out of here, get out of here. And the orcas are just sort circling the boat. They're like, like you're next, up. buddy. If you don't you're get the boat, go uh, they're, they're fucking that scene in Warriors. They're flipping their fins like, see us, uh, fucking seal, come out and play. Like fucking like. What kind of accent do you think an orca whale would have? British. They live everywhere. They can have British. pretty much anything. They have they have the worst fucking Tory British accent. Just pieces of shit. It's funny that like I didn't grow up here. I've only been only only been living here for almost fifteen years now, and still, if I hear a very very cut glass Tory accent, mm. it makes me feel like sick to my stomach. I- fucking hate it <laughs> there's something wrong about the way they talk it's it's like i don't know it's like the the you know the peaks and valleys in the way that english is spoken where you have a heart attack or soft um soft vowels and things like that where you've got you've got a wave in it and the way that english is spoken tories don't have that it's like it's constantly at this high like it's, mm. it's constantly at a peak and it makes me feel sick like i like 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 dogs hearing that like tone that it's makes dogs that, crazy psychological warfare <laughs> it's the generational trauma because of one of their ancestors <laughs> took your ancestors land and that was the last thing they heard was oh my heavens we have land <laughs> <laughs> what should we do with all these boom <laughs> oh, the the anti-native racism that i've been saying on tiktok lately is like i'm literally at like i'm at a 9.5 right now it will take nothing to push me over the edge Oh god. It is bad. <laughs> it is so bad. Like, okay, to, to segue again, um, I don't know if y'all have heard of the like wildly popular podcast, My Favorite Murder. It's a true crime podcast started by I don't two like white where this women. Is going. Oh Lord. All you had to say was true crime so, and white women. So it's like like kind of like the granddaddy of all of the like white women true crime podcast i've never listened to it i've been vaguely aware that it exists um and like apparently something has happened lately that's made everybody start to come out of the woodwork and talk about like how shitty they've been like we could have done this years ago but okay and um one of the things that they got in trouble for was that they released merch that looked like an old camp t-shirt and it was like um my favorite murder and then like they're they're catchphrase or something on the bottom and the image of it was a teepee like a what they said was like a camping tent but it was a teepee because you can tell the difference between a teepee and a tent based on the like there's there's legitimate ways to figure out the difference between them yeah. and even if it was something that was more like a pup tent that looks more like a teepee than like your average tent like you're doing a murder podcast. You should be a little bit more sensitive about this stuff. But anyway, they released this merch that had a TP on it and people were telling them like, Hey, this is pretty insensitive. Even if you meant it to be a tent, like you're literally doing a murder podcast. And apparently this is like 2017, which is when the MMIW stuff was like really hitting hard on social media. And like every time that somebody has chosen to talk, cause I, I get a lot of drama TikToks without ever knowing about the original thing. I love listening to the drama, but I never see the original thing. Um, so like every time somebody decides to talk about the drama of this particular thing happening, they put up all these comments of people like just going in on the anti-indigenous racism, like hard, hardcore anti-indigenous racism. And they just like put it on screen and be like, this is what's going on. It's like, hey, do y'all who are talking about this realize that there could be indigenous people watching this who don't want to be exposed to that racism? Because <laughs> oh like, I'm at a 9.5, like I was saying right now. <laughs> I don't want to see another fucking comment about it, but thanks. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I, I, that just sounds like a true crime podcast. Yeah, no, they probably don't care. They probably yeah. ha- like pretend they have empathy for other people. They don't. And they, pro- they yeah. probably, they probably it, like go against the victims' families and do episodes anyway. It's so apparently in this particular situation because there's a couple that more that I've heard of this particular situation. They didn't address it for two months. When they finally did address it, they're like, "You're being too sensitive," and then. When that didn't go down well, they removed that and said, like, we're sorry and we're going to donate $10,000 to X charity. I don't even know which charity they sent it to. I think Uh it said First Nations, which would have been Canadian. I don't know if they're American or Canadian. But, like, 
there's part of me that's like, okay, yes, $10,000 is probably helpful to whatever charity, but there's part of me that's like, keep your fucking money, keep your fucking money, because I don't want your bullshit, like, I'm going to buy off this, this shit that I've done by giving a bunch of money to some charity, like, oh god, I hate that, I hate that so much, rather than learn anything about it, you're just going to throw money, and you're going to continue to do this, and you're not even going to ever realize that what you've done was was fucking racist to begin with and and if they had just like dealt with it when people first started saying so they could have avoided all of it it's not that hard it's not that hard you know how many times, you know how many times i posted a mean thing it was okay and someone's like ah uh, and i'll be like all right it's just it's easy to just delete it just delete the fucking thing like just don't do it now i think now now in my head i think okay what would what would would what would kind mark do <laughs> uh, and I literally, I'll see memes and be like, "Oh, my knee jerk reaction is funny." Then I'm just like, I think about it. I'm just like, "Wait a minute." He's learning. <laughs> it is possible. It's evolving. There's this. There's this funny. There's this funny. There's this meme. I shouldn't even say funny because I don't know if it's actually. It would be funny. There was a meme that I found that I thought would be like, I thought would be funny, and it was just like the the mom says the the. The bloodline ends. What the fuck did she say? It was like bloodline ends because one of my sons, one of my sons likes men and the other one needs medicine to uh, be a man. So she has a trans son and a, and a gay son. And I was just like, wait a minute. Mm. Do you know why that's a, mm? um, because it's insinuating that only medicine would make the, the trans son, a Yes, uh, but yeah. that's not the. Damn it! I trans it people wrong. and gay people can have kids. Ah, right. they can still have kids. See, that was my second. <laughs> it's not like as soon as you come out, family. they just like this literally is... just remove. They bring, all out, of they bring family. out the comically large scissors was... and start like clicking them. Like... <laughs> like For family. trans men, it's just it to cut like... them like... waist down. It's just like. Boom. Family. <laughs> It's like family feud. It's like family feud. It was like I got the second answer, and Mark just stole the number one answer. I didn't want to like torture you. I didn't want to like. All right, come on, come on. While this is being like, recorded. Oh man! All just... right, all right. Since I mentioned like a movie that partially terrorized me was as a younger teenager, my question is: What part? of a kid's movie completely scarred you when you were younger oh fuck um james and the giant peach period like the entire thing all oh, of it like <laughs> Start... creepy animation yeah <laughs> well and that like the that's some scary imagery in there and also bugs there's some of those old timey those old like biblical cartoons that were got scary if I have to say, what was the question? <laughs> no, what part of a kid's movie completely scarred you when you were younger? It's because okay, I read the book in high school. Animal Farm? No. Bridge to Terabithia. The ending. Oh. I fucking cry. I never saw that. I couldn't see the movie because I know what happens in the book. And I was just like, it just, I don't know if that's considered kids because I was in high school in that. But like that was just fucking devastating. Um. Or the okay. scene in Black Beauty where, like, I think he's, like, um, I don't know. It was, like, weird, like, live-action spirit because the one I watched, he was, like, had, like, a voice. But, like, he was, like, um, talking about how the stones in the road hurt his feet and, like, he didn't like the bridle and everything when he used to be free. As a kid, I was like, <laughs> what is, why are they doing that to him? <laughs> why did they sell him? I, I would I would go so far with this question. It's just like whatever like movie that you saw as a kid it doesn't have to be a kid's movie itself. Uh, Bridge to Terror with you. Um, and then also like there were there were some uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark episodes that fucking traumatized me. And and I know it's not a movie, uh, even though they did make it into a movie. The the Halloween every single Halloween episode of Hey Arnold freaked me the fuck out as a kid. Especially the headless cabby one. That one still makes me fucking like as an adult is still fucking horrifying. I'm sorry. I, I have no point of reference with that at all. 
<laughs> like I remember watching some Hey Arnold, but like I don't remember anything mm-hmm. about Halloween episodes. Had the best in- hey Arnold. Had the best intro music. Like no, I, I'm sorry. I'm I'm pretty sure that Rocco's Modern Life would blow oh, it out of the water. Yeah. Rocco's Modern <laughs> Like that, like those like 90s cartoons, like late 90s, like early 2000s, or like even like early 90s, like songs. They were all so fucked so up. Good. They were all oh, weird. Oh, beyond fucked up. Yes. Like the fu- what? <laughs> like the oh, thing Courage of Cowley where Dog? He's yeah. like, the like weird like CGI, like blue, like almost like alien fetus thing. Do you know what I'm talking about? What? Encourage the cowardly dog. I, cu- I couldn't tell you any specific episode. The, I just remember watching the, some of it. The floating thing, and it was like mm, slab. Return the slab. Yeah, that was, that was fucking like, creepy. Like King Ramsey. The, the best. The <laughs> best episode. It was. The best Courage the Cowardly Dog is where Boris Johnson made a cameo. <laughs> oh, oh Freaky Fred. No, yeah, Freaky Fred. No, I loved Courage the Cowardly Dog. I'd watch that with my grandpa, my poppy. That and Cat Dog. Mm. Cat Dog's gross. And yeah, I've seen that too one, many like. Remember, um, never felt edgy fun videos. that one. A- and, and oh yeah, but like the anatomically correct cat dog. <laughs> yeah, it makes me want to throw up. What about Angry Beavers? Body I like them. Gross. Yeah, Angry I thought Beavers they were. Fun. I thought they were fun. Um, <laughs> what about, what about uh, real um, monsters? The one cow and chicken. Oh yeah, cow and chicken was funny. That was animated a little too weird. A little too like. The. I don't know. The Mother's Day episode of Rugrats broke me. With Chucky's oh, mom. It was so sad. There's another, like, some of those, like, cartoon, ep- they had episodes that just made you fucking cry. When they were real cartoons? Yeah. Yeah. Not, I, this, I, not this shit the kids got today. AI like, generated. Yeah. Fruit <laughs> bouncing up and down. Back in my day. I don't like I didn't get cable TV until I was like 10 I think we, again we were poor so we had like terrestrial TV um so I was a PBS kid and PBS didn't really have like creepy shit or weird shit um yeah. my favorite show like even to this day if I find old episodes of it I will still watch it was Wishbone which What's was story? Uh, Wishbone. It's so fucking good like you wonder why i'm such like a book nerd now wishbone is completely responsible for it like there was that bill nye the science guy zoom kratz creatures um like all all of this stuff oh oh god magic school bus yes um but yeah like i was a pbs kid up until the age of 10 so a lot of like early like stuff it's just like PBS, I only remember PBS, PBS stuff. Remember it wasn't st- until I was ten that I started to get like Nickelodeon, Disney Channel, and things like that. Remember Stick Stickly? No. Oh, never mind. I still remember. I, I always wanted to write him because I remember the address. The song stuck in my head, and I wanted to write that address now and be like, "Hey, is it still Stick Stick? Still Stick Stickly?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. And now I'm remembering before we move on, like the scene in Snow White. Where she's scared and all the trees turn to like the evil trees with the faces, mm. and she gets like caught. That gave me a lot of anxiety of like when I was like four. Before, before, I, <laughs> before I found out about like the Russian Revolution and what the Romanovs were like, remember the Anastasia, the Disney. That Anastasia? was like one of my favorites she, too, and I was such she, a hard time learning about what they were actually like when I got older. Dancing and like in the palace or whatever, like the the the, the crept whatever palace, and the like ghost family comes back and they're all having a big party. And I was like, oh, that's sad. Her family died, and I was like, oh, wait a minute, they all fucking deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part was that like, um, a lot of like especially at that time period if somebody was like trying to get across the physical image of like a dad they always had a big mustache my dad had a big mustache so for me it was like such an easy like one-to-one like this is a dad i love my dad i don't want anything to happen to my dad and then he, he's dead like this dad is dead oh, that just no. like would tear me apart <laughs> like oh. that, every time that would happen but if it's gonna be ones that actually like traumatized me as a kid and that's why i open it up to any movie is because i saw Jurassic Park way too early. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot that I saw it way too early. Oh, like my Tim Curry. God, Mark. Yeah, thanks. So, Mark. like the the scene where the Velociraptors are after the kids, and you see their big like 
toe claw kind of thing that legit gave me like night terrors <laughs> like there was weeks where my parents had to come in and like call me down but i will say that i was also like as soon as i kind of got past really young a uh, really young age, I was a spooky kid anyway. Like I loved anything that was spooky and weird and everything. So like a lot of the stuff that you guys are talking about being weird and off-putting is stuff that I liked anyway. <laughs> but like this one didn't traumatize me, but I think it was like weirdly like set the tone for my entire life was the secret of Nim. Because the secret of Nim oh, yeah. was like very dark, very like like brooding and a little traumatizing yeah stressful and like all the colors are really dark and it's like your color palette is like dark brown black gray and bright blood red that's your color palette for this movie and like it didn't scare me but it like intrigued me so much that like i wanted that kind of thing a lot and even as I got older and I started getting like books about, you know, like kids books of scary stories that would have illustrations in them. I would spend so much time looking at like these off-putting scary illustrations. Cause they were like my favorite part of it. Um, so <laughs> maybe, it, maybe it was traumatizing that like these like spooky things did traumatize me, but it turned into my personality later on. Who's got the next oh, question. Okay, <laughs> I don't remember. I, I've heard that name, but I don't remember it. Like, I remember... It was a Don Bluth mice. movie. Yeah, it was a Don Bluth movie that came out in the 80s. And there's Mrs. Brisby, who's a mouse who lives in a field. It's, it's kind of watership down in that, like, there's oh, okay. um, a tractor that's coming through the field. And uh, she's got kids. And um, her husband died. And she's got, like, three kids. And one of them is really, really sick. He's got a fever. So she can't move him while this tractor is coming. Because they usually move when the tractor comes through the field. Um, so she's on this, like, quest to, like, keep the tractor out of commission long enough so that she can go visit these rats that are supposed to... Like, she's heard that these rats are really, really smart. But nobody goes and talks to them. Because they're, like, they're really smart. And nobody understands them or anything but she's heard about them so she goes to ask like can i get some help to move my son or get something to make him better and what it turns out is that these rats were the secret of nim n-i-m-h i can't remember what it actually stands for but it's a medical testing thing so these rats were taken in by the, these medical testers and they give them something that makes them ultra smart. So they learn electricity. They learn how to build things underground. They like run things off of the farmer's like house, like the whole, the farmer's house stuff they run in, in their, yeah. um, yeah, it's, it's That's really, it's like tower bills. Getting yeah. real high. <laughs> so, wow. so like, uh, she goes to find them and they're like, okay, well, we will help you move your house. Her house is an old cinder block that was in the field. Aww. So they'll help her move her house before the tractor comes through. And there's a bad guy who, um, so the, the problem is that the rats want to leave the farmer's like homestead because they think it's morally wrong to be like stealing his power and, and supplies from his farm because now they've grown morality because they have, they've had this <laughs> medical testing on them. So they want to move, but the bad guy wants them to stay there and keep like quote unquote, stealing power from the farmer, etc. cetera. Um, so he murders the, the, oldest rat who's like the, the leader of everybody and says like well the leader's dead i'm the leader now we're not going to help her with her shit because we're doing our own thing and some of the rats like go against what he says and they're trying to help her move her house and um she gets this red amulet that when she finds out that her husband was one of the mice that were tested in the facility, but the rats live a whole lot longer. So the rats have survived. Most of the mice are dead. Her husband was one of only two that survived. And then he was murdered by the bad guy as well. Um, but he had this red amulet and this red amulet. This is where like everything is like, okay, it's a little bit magical realism. The red amulet like bestows like fucking levitation and shit <laughs> on her. So she gets this red amulet that used to belong to her husband and um, she gains the power to like, so they're like the, the whole like ending is like, they're trying to move the house, but the farmer's tractor is coming and it's raining and the bad guys trying to kill the good guys and everything. And so she ends up with this, this amulet and she just like, glows and then she gets the power of levitation to like move her house this cinder block house like across the field by like touching a rope and everything i don't know how to explain the ending the ending is fucking wild <laughs> and all of a sudden the farmer's like what the fuck is happening <laughs> yeah the, the farmer's like we've got these rats but nobody's been able to catch them because the rats are too smart to be caught yeah so, like, 
it's wild. It's a fucking wild movie. Who comes up with this storyline? <laughs> <laughs> and here and here's my personality 30 years on Hi, mark, mark your next question <laughs> well i read this one that was like what is something that everyone looks stupid doing and it reminded me of those be a man tiktoks where it's like don't bend over entire shoe be a man oh <laughs> my god i love those yeah <laughs> 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 what was, what I don't know. <laughs> I think um, I feel really stupid when I'm putting air in my tires at the gas station. Mark, you are anxious about everything, though. Mark, you how do probably you live? feel like you look stupid doing anything, and yeah. you don't. Right. <laughs> You are literally just existing. I know. I, can't I know wait. no one cares. We need to get you more medicine. <laughs> we need to get these mice and rats to work together to get August you eighth. <laughs> August eighth. August eighth. Oh Marco, Marco, Marco see the world through new eyes. Jeez, what looks stupid? I always feel like I look stupid if I'm videoing something for a TikTok. Like, and most of the time my TikToks are travel content. So I'm like in a cathedral or in a bookstore or like in a grand house or in a field or something. So we're like, nobody's looking at me, but I always feel stupid videoing. And I absolutely will not do a voiceover. Cannot talk while I'm taking a video because <laughs> I feel like people are going to be looking at me like, what the hell is she doing? Like, hey, you guys. <laughs> Back at it again with another yeah. video. <laughs> How about me as I go to the museum in London? <laughs> yeah. Cannot. I did a long time ago. I did a TikTok where I did a voiceover for it, and I like my soul left my body. I can't do it. I deleted it. It's gone. You cannot find it anymore. Oh. <laughs> or can you? Dun, dun, dun. Um, or um, getting something off like the very bottom shelf at the store. Oh, like if it's really, really low down, you have to like crouch, not even yeah, just bend or, over, you have to crouch. Yeah, you, have to, you have to crouch or get on your hands and knees and like, yeah. crawl. Because it's far back and now you're like, yeah. you're like on your hands and knees like halfway in the shelf. <laughs> like your shoulder is fully in the shelf. Like, but it's like, what do you want that bad? <laughs> <laughs> how much how much is your dignity worth is it that right. one box of fucking cereal that's at the back right <sighs> nelson what do you feel stupid doing trying to date <laughs> it's just gonna get really lame. dark lame <laughs> I, feel, I feel stupid mundane task come on <laughs> No, I had a really dark thing was I wasn't I feel stupid when I get my hopes up thinking that someone likes me <laughs> but it, I've had a rough week. What? Are, okay. What? It, what's the? So it's what like mundane tasks? So I feel. What does it have to be a mundane task? What is it again? What do you think everyone looks stupid doing? <sighs> arguing on the internet is another one. Oh my! Yeah, everyone <laughs> looks stupid trying to fucking. Unless argue. you say something funny. And then yeah. you're, the you're worst like, is is Instagram cool. com is the Instagram comment sections because that they're not designed like Instagram is not designed to have conversations in the fucking comment section. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm blanking. What do, what do people look stupid doing? Um, got a pet peeve. Uh, I don't know. People look stupid doing a lot of things. I just don't know how to put it to words. Like, <laughs> like you know, uh, like those. Uh, oh, it's just like uh, the the chat the the chat or the Karen videos where like people are, like really upset about just something that's just completely fucking stupid, and it's just like, I'm why do you that. care? Sometimes somebody? I got like a little mental breakdown in my back pocket. <laughs> Didn't like that one. Your fucking <laughs> you just, face. Like, stop talking. It's your fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> the face you made afterwards is what it uh, oh my god um i don't know i don't really have anything i know i know it's just like it's probably some some like niche online thing that really that people just look stupid or like i'll tell you what's stupid people sending me literal literal paragraphs in my fucking uh instagram dm requests arguing about a meme that i post like literal like fuck paragraph no punctuate very little punctuation any indention it's just rant about like 
why they don't like a meme. And I'm just like, shut up. <laughs> you Maybe they're up. manic, Nelson. Have you thought of that? See, I can't have anything right, Mark. I can't. It's like, <laughs> like I'm saying, people look stupid doing this. You're like, that's ableist. I think people look stupid doing this. Maybe they're manic. I think people look stupid. Maybe they're just having a breakdown. Maybe they're just, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just look stupid doing everything <laughs> tell me something i don't know yeah i can't tell you anything that you haven't already told yourself five inches from the mirror every morning <laughs> don't got time for that i wake up too late <laughs> <He's like a laughs> that's brother. why he drives 80 fucking miles an hour to work <laughs> don't, just tell, being... <laughs> don't tell the georgia state patrol that. georgia state patrol if you're on highway whatever in between something wherever mark lives yeah please don't tell people my exact location either <laughs> Here is the road that I travel I'm sorry, every morning. I don't morning. remember the road names. Mark, I, I don't remember, remember going the, through the fucking, fucking woods. Bum fuck ass yeah. single lane road that we're gonna die on in your fucking neighborhood. That weird little switchback to get onto that. Yeah. Area. What you're like? I'll oh, just turn here. This like little single lane, like I said, switchback fucking road. It's just like that every morning carved every in by settlers in the 1800s that he just paved once and said fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, every time yeah. we talk about seeing an animal on the side of the road i imagine it's right there and that little tiny v <laughs> there's this really gross picture i took i'm never gonna post it anywhere um i needed it for proof someone had like a full like skinned deer carcass just in the middle of that road it was like a silent hill like prop why why like triangle ew. head just comes walking out like pyramid head pyramid some respect head. on his name <laughs> my bad it's a little I'm smile sorry. that follows that <laughs> little shit you are such joking. a little shit you know that <laughs> that's how like I'm a really bad liar Kai we gotta punish because, our son <laughs> because as soon as I played no a prank ex- on my coworker, no xbox for a week I played a prank on her and I couldn't look at her while I did it because I'd give it away because I just can't like stop myself from laughing or like giving away on my face. So she was taken. We have like a Christmas tree. We live. We um leave all year up. Um, that sentence is like totally switched around. <laughs> we have a Christmas tree, comma that we keep. There's not a fist being a comma in there. Mark, we're not talking about commas flights. Class. Finish the story. <laughs> Christmas tree in waiting room all year, <laughs> period. Um, and they had de- <laughs> they had it decorated for 4th of July, and now it's like back to school. But I waited until there was no one in the waiting room, so I wasn't a jerk. It was just me and her. And she went to take the topper off the tree, and when she shook it one good time, I turned it off. Like, she broke it. And... I couldn't look at her. I had to like look away and pretend I was doing something else. But I could hear a gasp. But then I turned it on real quick. So just watch out. <laughs> pranked. You yeah, got pranked. pranked. Epic prank bra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Mark, this is, uh, Nelson, you have to have a question. Quit dissociating and ask a question. I have it. I have it. I have it. Okay. What do you think? What is considered socially acceptable but really shouldn't be? Besides Mark and podcasts. <laughs> talking to strangers. It's like starting a conversation. Don't talk to me. I'm not here. You just pulled just, me out of my reality. Poor old man. That his That's wife, different. wife died like five years ago and his kids, his, his no one I'd left. say, like, you don't understand the gravity of it. When I was getting my brakes checked, I made up a lie because i wanted i had to keep the conversation going and i thought about it for the rest of the day it physically pains me that's true okay i was, she at a, was, I was like she was like what happened to your other hubcap and i was like oh i don't know i guess um like someone took it like who would take it who it's not the plastic? 90s people don't steal hubcaps anymore who, who would take it and like she's like oh that's weird wrong answer my like it's almost like my heart dropped to like through the floor you chose the wrong text box right <laughs> I pressed X, I pressed everyone hated that pops up on your screen right. and i was like why did she even ask me that and then why did i even answer her that way so no i don't want people to make small talk Root with me tootin cowboy 
that make okay that makes sense because on a side note uh shout out to crosby uh she's one of our first fans and she's on a road trip and she stopped in montgomery and three years ago i had mentioned that our minor league baseball team is the biscuits and so she was like what and so we said like wouldn't it be cool if we go to a biscuit game one day and so she actually was in town and we went to a biscuit game and this dude was sitting in front of us i guess with his his daughter they're both uh baseball fans and he kept like he would turn around and start like trying to have a conversation with us we're just Mm-mm. like yeah yeah, yeah man <laughs> he's like y'all like the braves i was like i mean yeah they're cool and he's like starts but then like he said no like... the racist <laughs> And then you would have shut that down and he wouldn't have talked to you. <laughs> no, but it's like, you know how you like try to just be nice? You're just like, oh, yeah, and they're cool. And then like they think that. And then he did the tomahawk chop sound. No, and that, motion. No, oh, Mark. <laughs> that like you, you know everything about the Braves like he does is like, oh, and so and so bad. And blah, blah, blah. It's like, dude, I don't even know. You, I can't name a single player on that team. <laughs> it's just bullshit. And like, oh, you like the new stadium? <laughs> And then it's just like, oh, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. And it's just like, oh, my God, dude. Fucking watch the fucking game. Like, stop trying to talk to me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it sucks because, like, I'm, a, I'm polite, I think. I like to think that I'm well-behaved. You know. <laughs> I can balance the books on top of my head with a glass of water. Say please and thank you. Yes, ma'am. No, sir. You know, whatever. Walks but a I heel. Just, <laughs> <laughs> I just don't. <laughs> I don't like have the capacity to just make up small talk there's probably a reason for that but we are just not gonna go any further my mom is one of those people who will talk to fucking anybody too like i know i take after my grandma a lot more my grandma my grandma grew up in the 30s in greenwich village in new york city and she had an attitude this woman could shut anybody down and i take after her a lot more but my mom is like this like between my grandma and me is my mom is this like really happy hippie of a person who wants to talk to everybody and everything's great and like my grandmother and I are just always we're always like looking at her when my grandma was around like we would be like looking like we don't want to talk to these fucking why are you inviting these people to talk to us they probably want something I don't want to give them anything <laughs> that's like the interaction <laughs> with the woman it was like did they die for that oh my god <laughs> yes but like like I remember specifically like so my mom is um she has chronic illness so when she goes out if i'm in town i'm always with her and we go to places like walmart or something and we'd go in the evening when it's dark out and like somebody will be doing something funky in the in the parking lot like nothing like specifically like criminal or anything just somebody doing something maybe somebody's listening to loud music or somebody's dancing next to the car or something and she wants to talk to them and i'm like we are two women walking alone in the dark in a Walmart parking lot. And you want to go talk to these fucking strangers. And she always looks at me like I've just like crushed her, her dreams, her hopes, because I'm like, <laughs> it is not safe for us to be doing this. And she also, she's one of those people that like, like when people are trying to scam you in like a store, like this has happened a couple of times, like in that particular Walmart, they come up and they're like asking for your help for X, Y, and Z. She has that face. That's like, like they just come to her and i have to like step in and be like hey no we're not doing that we're not doing we're not being part of this <laughs> um but at the same time like if it's just me i feel like i am a polite and somewhat personally charming person i can like joke with the best of them i can you know be charming to these people however there's a lot of times when i re- realize like somebody was trying to start a conversation with me and i walk off and like two hours later i realize oh i gave them the complete wrong answer to make them comfortable <laughs> with having this conversation with me and i just sounded like a real asshole i like out of nowhere <laughs> but like like i would be on a flight a couple of times I've not been able to sit with Mr. Speaker on our flight home. It's an overnight flight. You usually catch it between six and nine o'clock at night. So like it's a bunch of Brits who are coming home from their vacations in Florida. And so I'd be sitting with these people that I don't know. And the, they're like this really friendly guy, really nice guy turned to me and, and asked like, oh, so you're going home? And I just go, yep. <laughs> go like right back to what I'm doing and I realized like he kept looking at me like he was expecting to start a conversation and I would not have had a problem with that conversation except that I completely forgot how to act like a human in that instance and just but like yep, shut, it sure off. <laughs> shut it off right there <laughs> <laughs> oh all right uh what what do I think what is the question 
What is socially acceptable that shouldn't that you think shouldn't be? Um, the British. God. <laughs> God. Yes, I, that's a good one. Yeah, but, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think like if I'm gonna get like weird and niche, like um, two things somewhat related: letting dogs walk off leash when you have not taught them how mm. to walk off leash, and people who let their cats live outside. Oh, yeah those two things yeah. um and anybody who wants to come for me about the cat thing look up how many species have gone extinct because of house cats yeah. and i say that with my cat literally looking at me because i love cats i adore them but they are all going to live inside my house and i've had so many interactions with people who think that their dogs are absolutely fine to be off leash and they are not they have no recall um and they run up on my dog who is like not aggressive but nervous and that and feeling of like you yeah and you you have that like that moment where you see this dog running at you and you think am i going to get in front of my dog in time to stop whatever is going to happen am i going to have a dog bite today am i going to be responsible for this dog having a dog bite um go on its record and have to be put down am i going to have to take my dog to the vet like all these thoughts running through your head in a split second when you see this dog that's off leash running at you and an owner who thinks it's absolutely fine yeah fuck them all right Nelson. what about you uh, people who bring pets into restaurants that aren't service animals too they're fucking weird uh i had a we had a lady that brought had a fucking pet monkey and she would come to the patio and i'm just like <laughs> what the i guess not i guess it's not inside but like what you had a diaper on i was like this is fucking gross i would say like, how many I, fucking diseases those things that's carry? Her son. And no, there's a white lady too. It was definitely her son. It was definitely their old boomer white couple. It was definitely her kid. They had two of them, and one got fucking eaten by a snake. I was just like, God damn. I should have told you something that right there. I'm kind of cool with animals. Like, I've lived with animals my entire life. I eat all of my dinners with my animals around me. Yeah, not in so, their like, private I'm, I'm, domicile, but like I'm like <laughs> I, at a yeah, restaurant. But, okay, but what is the problem with them being around? Like, I'm not saying that you're wrong. I don't understand why it's a problem being at a restaurant. With the oh, same, because like, a lot, I'm not, oh, I put, I put this, service dogs, service animals are trained, like they know exactly yes. what to do. But like when people bring in untrained animals that like start acting a fool, and I'm trying to like wait tables or like eat, and okay, dog, that makes more yeah, sense. Yeah, then yeah, that's what I meant. Like act, legitimate, like trained service animals, like know what to do. Like when I when I would uh, when I fought, waited table when I did the party for the Alabama Association for the Blind, they came in and they had seeing eye dogs and they would just they were sweet and they sat under the table and they were just like Oop, i'm a dog loop, doop, doop, doop. and like they would see another dog and be like yo what's up and they'd be like yo what's up we're both you know the eyes for our humans and they're like yeah that's what's up but like people who have like dog like like i don't know what they're called but like do- like animals or whatever that like you know emotional support animals that like aren't trained to be fucking like support animals they just start acting a fool and it's just like mm. Uh, there's a lady that comes in and her chihuahua uh, bit one of the phlebotomists while she was drawing her blood. Because Great. They, should have put, <laughs> yeah. they, should, they put the dog down? No. Damn. That's off the record. <laughs> and little, like, I, I've had big dogs my entire life. Little dogs get away with fucking murder. Oh my god. Right. Biting At, somebody, trying to do yeah, their job in a like, clinical my, setting. My Labradoodle, the the Rottweiler that I grew up with, the pet, the pit bull that my dad owns, none of them would be able to get away with something like that. But because it's a little dog, you can just be like, oh, okay, it's off the record because there wasn't that much damage, but it was the same behavior that yeah. took place. Black eyes, lifeless lies, I get dolls eyes. So they <laughs> it's bite the you crustiest. Black eyes roll it is the white. crustiest looking chihuahua you've all, ever seen. All small it dogs looks have like, like that a crusty animal. shit around their mouth. It's like a stuffed animal that someone got out of a drain. It's gross. Oh it's God. nasty. Yes. <laughs> Looks like fucking Rand from Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> just shaking. I have a cousin. I have a cousin who her mother's side of the family is Mexican. She married into another Mexican family. They've had chihuahuas. Chihuahuas are very normal for like Mexican families to have. And this chihuahua was great, except for the fact that like their little bodies are so little that like I don't know something about the pressure in them. He, this is a male dog. He could not sit down without his dick popping out. <laughs> like nothing. Like, the best of us. It's not. It's not even like. <laughs> it's not even like he was having one of those moments that 
dogs have where it just happens. It's like, no matter how he sat down, it would pop out because I swear there's not enough like room in his little body to stay chihuahua. inside. <laughs> <laughs> to say it's I'd really sat down and I remember like not knowing that and sitting on my uncle's couch and the dog was like running around on the couch and he came over and sat on my shoulder like a parrot and I thought oh that's so fucking cute and I took a picture and there's this little pink dick just like hanging out <laughs> on my shoulder <laughs> no <laughs> his the name egg- was Nacho and he Jesus was a good Christ. dog he <laughs> was just <laughs> little <laughs> the ex that's the 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 meth head the meth head ex she had a she had a rat pin. It was like a mixture of a uh, rat terrier and a fucking pin miniature pincer. And uh, the dog was great, except like she obviously never took the time because she was probably all just doing meth to fucking train this dog. So like he would shit and piss in the apartment. And like he loved me because I was like one of the only ones that, like took him out, like go to the bathroom and fucking like play with him or whatnot. But he would bark and just was not trained. And it's just like it was such a pain. And I was just like, you know what? I I can't deal with little dogs anymore. Like I, I have just big dog. It's, All we've ever had is little dogs. You have a monster. You have a creature from that date for like thirty days a night. Looks like a goddamn <laughs> vampire. Black <laughs> eyes and shit around its mouth. Like it just literally drank. She's starting to get pit stains. Right. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> no! fucking, fucking fucking shit. The fucking red coat around her white mouth. Her nicotine black stash. eyes. Yeah. Fuck, you know, it looks like she fucking just it just devoured an animal. Like, just, just bit, sucked the blood from a fucking... She looks like a vampire. Like, the vampires from 30 Days a Night, that movie, just like that. Just the blood stain around their mouth, black eyes. Like, you have a demon. for it. That's a demon. <laughs> My dog is not a dog. I wish you guys could have seen what I saw that night. <laughs> she I, could, I, I just, can imagine it in my head. <laughs> I just wish... Because it was so, like, timed so perfectly. <laughs> I, I, can like, picture we just, I can see as it through long your as eyes. I was like as long as I was still she sat still and the moment that I twitched a muscle to be like well maybe she's okay with me coming out the kitchen <laughs> she just sprang up and started barking and scrabbling on that floor <laughs> Yeah, the yeah, hardwood floors a, is doing anything. That favors. was such a wild time. That was such a wild vacation <laughs> slash help mark. Yeah, where I didn't do anything the doctor told me to do. <laughs> no, not a that damn such, thing. Oh, wild. I'm built just, different. Just like I had an oversized sweat, uh, fucking big ass sweatpants and oversized t shirt, like helping <laughs> uppies, uppies getting you up, grandpa, out of the fucking car to go eat. We should have the parties. We should have went to Party City and got me like a gray wig and oh, some like fake glasses. Yes. <laughs> Come on, Grandpa. Yeah. Uppy. <laughs> like, don't eat it. Should we go right to Zaxby's on the way home? Yeah, don't eat anything greasy. Like, carefully explaining to me that you shouldn't have anything for dinner. Maybe some chicken broth. And we just be like fucking Zaxby's. Oh, Great. <laughs> yeah, she was no, like, I was time. Hungry. We were so fucking hungry too because the last thing that we ate was like we had we had breakfast and then we had a coffee <laughs> and then we didn't eat for the rest oh, of the day because we thought we would have to get you. What? Ah, <laughs> that fucking day, the aquarium. Ask questions, no the, the aquarium. No, fuck you, Mark. The aquarium haunts our dreams. I was incompa- like totally incapacitated. <laughs> yeah, that was know. not my fault. <laughs> we know it's okay. It's okay. It was your nurses who kept lying and saying it'd be another two hours. I was two trying hours. my best to get out of there. I felt like anxious. That y'all were waiting on me. And I was like, I, I can get up now. And they're like, mm, here's some more medicine. And then I passed out for a unknown amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. My, my question is, um, what's the worst place that you've been stuck for a long time? And don't say Montgomery. <laughs> Montgomery. Um, um, I have a lot of things blocked in my memory. So I just, I can't remember. Well, try. Come up with yeah. something. Were you stuck in a layover for a long time? Did you get stuck? We like- got stuck in an elevator in Baltimore as a kid. I, we, my mom, my dad, and I we were stuck in an elevator in Baltimore, and they had to get the fire department to come and That's get scary. us out. And I remember they had that they like opened the side or they fucking opened the compartment or whatever, and we had to like not it. It wasn't like a jump. It was like, but you could see down. But there was like a about a three foot gap. I remember a fireman on one side, other side. Yeah, no, they would literally grab you and like pulled you across to the other elevator, make sure you didn't fall down. But yeah, I remember that. Then uh, they took us to the, the, because we got stuck, 
they took us to the airport when we left in a limo. That was pretty cool. Oh. Mark, one time it snowed really hard. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I set the scene. Okay, end of story. <laughs> set the scene. It snowed in Georgia. It snowed in Georgia. We were um, stuck in our log cabin. But it was so bad. It was like um, I was still in high school. And um, it started snowing. And we're like, can we go home? And I'm like, no, it'll let up. Three hours later. Um, it's still snowing. So it like snowed maybe like three inches which is three inches more than it should have snowed <laughs> humble opinion um <laughs> but it also like turned to black ice like instantly but the roads like um like i showed you guys my school it was like from the school to the railroad track like bumper to bumper so no mm. one could come and no one could leave and the buses didn't run and all the highways were like bumper to bumper. And we were stuck on like the highway for like two hours in the snow. And no one could drive. And people were like getting hit and stuff. So that was pretty scary. We're getting hit. Yeah. <laughs> Just getting mowed down the, the blood red. And then we snow. got a big hill. We got a big hill um, <laughs> to like get to like my house from the road we went on. And so we just kind of like skirted down the hill and tried not to fall off the road. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, or when my back like stopped working and I got stuck. That was pretty bad. But, you know. Now like, you I was, fully like, disappeared from your picture. Oh, where sorry. I was like kneeling in the floor <laughs> for like 45 minutes because my grandma wasn't home. So I called her and I was like, I can't get up. I've fallen. Uh, I can't get I'm up. Fallen and I, need, I can't get up. Grandma, where's your life alert? I need to hit life alert. <laughs> she doesn't need that. Your grandma's pretty spry. Yeah, she sure true. is. I joke with my mom about life alert all the time. I'll send her the gif of the lady falling. Like, ah, ah. Like, it's gonna be. It's gonna be you one day. I'm gonna stand there and laugh and then leave you there. <laughs> get it. Get her a hover around. Yeah, That's and a... I go, go, go. <laughs> she got it. Uh, she got one of those big comfy. Lazy boy recliners, and she loves it. She's just been literally sitting. She used to think they were quote unquote old man chairs for the quote unquote pores. And uh, uh -huh. I, yeah, I know, right? And now she got one and she loves it. I was like, Mom, I knew you're going to love it. They're fucking great. Like, there's a reason why everyone has them because, like, they're great fucking chairs. And now she just sits in it and watches Dateline and fucking god she was watching some murder mystery thing now she's turning into one of those people it's just like constantly <laughs> i remember when i when i thought i was gonna uh go out to texas to see friends she was like what are you gonna go see what are you gonna do i've been watching a lot of dateline i was like mom i am a 280 pound white man with a that's bald with a beard do you really think someone's gonna fucking do anything i was like i'm i was like do you really think anyone's gonna try to fuck with me like the duality of her is that like she'll be worried and then she'll be like oh you should stand up for yourself because no one can blah 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 blah. look how big you are and i was just like stop make signals i can't this is why i am Women, I am I right exactly thank you mark this is how i this is why i am how i am see mark you get it now i'm glad I would say the worst place that I've ever been stuck was on a ferry back from Dublin to Hollyhead in Wales. Oof. So my husband, my husband is into Japanese cars and um, one was in Belfast that we were going to go by. So we flew from Leeds to Belfast, met the people we were buying it from, bought it within like two hours, <clears throat> went to our hotel, managed to like... We booked into this hotel. It's like the nicest hotel in downtown Belfast. But the reason we got such a good rate is because it was the day that was, it was most likely to have a bombing. And that hotel had been bombed several times. <laughs> and we didn't know that when we showed up. So we bought this car, went to the hotel. Um, the next day, we had to drive from Belfast to Dublin, which is not a long drive. It's a small country. We thought it'd be pretty nice. Um, except that the... Um, it was either the rugby or the Irish football was on. So the highway between Belfast and Dublin was 
packed, absolutely packed. And we should have had enough time to leave Belfast, get to Dublin, have a couple hours in Dublin to have lunch or go to a museum or something and then catch the ferry over. No, we were on the highway the entire time. And that was where I saw buses full of people who were going to this game, whatever it was. And all of the men, because we were stuck on the highway for so long, a lot of the men jumped out and were pissing in the bushes on the side of the road. The two women who were on this bus jumped out into the median of the highway one held her sweater over the other while she pissed in the median <laughs> like you couldn't have picked a place where Womanhood. fewer people would have been looking at you a fucking <laughs> and then, irish they're and then fucking they had to, animals like, spring up and run because the the traffic was moving a bit so she had to like like i don't think there was any time for any wiping or anything she just had to pull whatever she was wearing up and they had to run for the bus <laughs> just twerk it off this is shimmy <laughs> Just walk like a penguin for a little bit and it'll dry off a little. But um, so we finally get onto our ferry and the ferry, I think, is like four hours long. And the Irish Sea is like notorious for being choppy and gray and windy and wet and like awful. It's just awful to be on. So (laughs) So, the sea is wet. (laughs) No, raining. I know. I was was waiting for Mark to say something. I know, Mark. I would never say something like that to Kai. Fuck off, Mark. (laughs) So, so like we got on this ferry and there, there, there were like, you could pay to have like a little cabin room on the ferry. And like, that sounds really nice. We thought that it'd be like just a normal crossing. However, being in like the, the common room of this ferry was like, I have been in immigration offices. Okay. I'm an immigrant to this country. Being in this cabin for this ferry was like being in an immigration office, hard 90 degree angle benches. that were made of plastic and wood. There was no cushioning anywhere. It was full of babies crying and people being like feeling ill because the waves are so choppy and it was just raining and windy and cold. So you couldn't sit out on the deck and um, they had like a little pub on the inside and, that doesn't just mean drinking that means food as well um and we thought well maybe we can go in there we can sit at like the pub tables and maybe get something to eat no it was packed because everybody had the same idea so we just had to like sit on this ferry where you have no phone signal like (laughs) nothing to do they have tiny little tvs like like, i'm not kidding this felt like an immigration office immigration offices also feel like like intake at jails which i have seen before i have not been to jail but i've seen them before and it's just like horrible and and antiseptic and people are crying and it it smells weird and there's tiny little tvs to keep everybody (laughs) occupied and we were on there for like four hours waiting for it to finish the worst place in the world the irish in boats let me tell you (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Never a good experience. The Irish and boats. <laughs> oh, should we do a third round or are we done for tonight? Uh, we've literally been talking for two hours. Yeah, I got is this, to write. Is this going to be an after dark? Like SpongeBob. Or an, I, I, this is gonna, this an no, ap- it's gonna, this an episode episode. Yeah. 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 All right. That's why we didn't say anything uh, too crazy. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, hold on. We have we got five seconds to those two hours. Four, three, two. One, it'd be really funny if it's not two hours and it's just because like when I started. Anyway, Mark, do your thing. What are you talking about? <laughs> so you gotta say something. You gotta send this that off. That was my something. You just said something over it. Say something again. Um what's the deal with airplane food? <laughs>